Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming on Cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Crash Landing for episode 37 and we finally have ourselves some grass. I can't believe we didn't do this earlier but we now have grass all well around most of the compound. We have it around pretty much all of this big main square. I haven't quite done uh, the other sections just yet and I'm not actually quite sure whether or not I'm going to. I think this little pathway could do with some grass. I think that would look quite nice and I'm thinking about doing the the bit around the bottom of the uh, mob spawn with grass as well because I I think that could look quite nice and you can see here I don't quite have enough grass seeds to uh, to finish off that one but uh, what I want to do today is I want to get on and I want to finish up some of these quests that we have yet to finish because we are getting pretty flipping close to uh, to wrapping this thing up because if we look at the quest book we have uh, completed basic survival it says 90% but it's done we have completed it we uh, under pressure we have also done we've done the blueprints for success for some reason with the newest update there's a bit of a glitch with uh, the quest that's supposed to be here and and that's not showing up and we have done the uh, the kinetic compressor quest we have a kinetic compressor over here we just haven't crafted one that's why that's still showing up so we've done all the ones in uh, under pressure uh, creating life we have a few more left to do and technological revolution we only have two left that one being leftovers and this one with the bucket of what looks like meat uh, if you ask me and then we're pretty much done we can then move on to getting back to the moon and we can wrap this series up so uh, what have I done since last episode I have uh, thrown down the grass and that's kind of about it uh, our burger machine's been doing quite well because uh, we oh geez look at this me running so slowly almost a stack of burgers there I'll take actually all of them um, <laughs> the reason it's done quite well is because uh, since last episode I did have to wait quite a while for, for the grass to spread throughout all of the uh, all of the dirt so that did take a little while and I think the main reason that we are running slow right now is because we have heat stroke and that is one of the problems that I want to cover today before we finish up uh, all of the uh, remaining quests and that is that I want to set up an automated refill station for my camel pack because this thing is a pain to refill it actually it's not really that big of a pain it's just a nuisance it takes a little bit of time time that we could save so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little bit of an automated system that allows me to constantly have a full camel pack just waiting for me in the chest whenever I want it and the first thing that we're going to need for that is another cyclic assembler so boom and if you're wondering why i've got some weird stuff in my chest by the way like a furnace a lever and a trap door uh, it's actually because the ae system is full so actually before i make this what i might do is, is try to get ourselves another 1k storage disc we should i think have most of the stuff we need and for this we only need one of these which we should be able to make nice so we'll go you and you and we'll be able to put stuff in the system again good stuff good stuff you can see most of these are full upon types which is a bit of a pain so now we can throw all this stuff back in good stuff get rid of you and get ourselves a cyclic assembler should be easy enough we're just going to need another machine frame which i think means we're going to need some more pcbs which of course means we're going to need more plastic because we're always low on plastic Jeez, we shouldn't really be low on plastic we got a ton of this stuff there we go i'll throw you in there and that should be us Good to go. Nice. I'll make a few of these because we are going to need quite a lot of them this episode. And then we'll go ahead and make ourselves one of those. I did preemptively smelt up some glass in here. I knew this was going to be a problem and, uh, and I figured it out already. Look at this. Look at this. Me being all productive and stuff. Okay, there we go. We'll make as many of these as we can as well, actually, because we're going to need quite a few of those. And boom. Nice. We got ourselves a cyclic assembler. We're also going to need a chest. I'll take off caps lock because that's just annoying. Uh, I thought we had a chest, but apparently not. Uh, I'll make another chest. Like so. And then I'm also going to need uh, a few item ducts. I think only two, so I'll use these impulse ones to make it that wee bit faster. And we are going to need two servos as well. So let's go ahead and get some of those. Server helps if you can spell. There we go. Boom. One, two. Nice. So, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to turn off sound because those cows are annoying as heck. I'm going to throw down a chest here. And this is going to be the chest that constantly has a full camel pack in it. And the way this is going to work is we are going to have a item duct bring any anything that's not a full camel pack out of this chest and up into the cyclic assembler. It's going to be here. This thing is also going to fill up with water like so because the uh, the water drum here is connecting to this fluid duct which is filling up the cyclic assembler and we're actually going to use this water here to, uh, to auto refill the camel pack. We're then going to have another item duct going like this and taking stuff back to the chest. It's a really simple setup. Uh, however, we are going to need some... I uh, would have any redstone conduits. <sighs> That's a pain. Um, actually, we don't have any 
good conduits at all. Let's make ourselves a few more redstone energy conduits because we are going to need a couple of those. Uh, so we'll do uh, six, I guess. <laughs> we'll make six of you and we'll throw you into the fluid transposer. Do we have any spare buckets to get rid of that stuff? We got one. I guess that'll have to do for now. Uh, so let's start emptying you out. Do we have a spare tank anywhere? Possibly. No, just me. Okay, that's fine. So we'll take you. We'll put you down for now. I'm just gonna. We'll make a. We'll make a puddle of, of resonant ender. This. There we go. It's beautiful. Okay, we'll take that there. We'll fill this up as well. While we're waiting for that, we will get some redstone and start to fill this stuff up. How much do we need? It is 200 per conduit. So we're gonna need at least six. No, 12 even. Sorry. Uh, there we go. That should be fine. Throw you in there, and they should start to cook up just nicely. We'll get rid of you, and everything should be pretty dandy, because this guy here does require power to run. So, let's see if we can't find ourselves a power conduit. There we go. That'll do. Go boom, 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 and then if we can get out of here. This should lead into the basement somewhere, actually. There's the, uh, the nether portal you can see. I kind of don't want to go through that, so I'll try and get out this way. Here we go. Is there a cow down there? <laughs> there is as well, geez. Uh, oh, we're going to put the grass, the nice new grass that we just built. We're going to get rid of it. That's a pain. It's all right, it'll spread back. Okay, so we got that done. That is pretty much actually all we need to do. So now that this thing is full of power and uh, full of water, all we need to do from there on is get ourselves a schematic, which is fairly easy, like we did last episode, just paper and lapis. Throw that in here. And what we got to do is we got to teach it that a bottle of water and the camel pack will equal a bottle of water and a camel pack, but with extra water in it. So let's grab ourselves a bottle. Now, you got to be careful about the way that you do this, because I tried it a couple of times and couldn't get it to work. And the reason was because I was trying to do it with multiple bottles. If you try to do it with, say, three bottles at once, it's it, for some reason, it doesn't like that. Make sure you just do it with one bottle of water and one camel pack. It does mean it's going to have to loop through a couple of times before it fills up, but that's fine, because it's going to take ages for a full camel pack to wear down when you're wearing it. So we'll just put a, bot a bottle of water and a camel pack there. Press the little tick button, and now whenever a bottle of water and a camel pack comes in, it's going to fill it up automatically. Actually, we don't need the bottle of water. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to do it with the uh, the inbuilt little bit of water there. And the reason why this is a good thing is because if we didn't do that, if we just did it with the bottles, we would end up with a massive backlog of bottles here because there's actually no way to pull out empty glass bottles from this blue area uh, once they've been used for the water. So that kind of... Uh, that's kind of the reason why it's taken me so long to get around to this, because I was trying to do it with three bottles instead of one, and it just wasn't working. So now all we got to do, stick the camel pack in there, and it just starts filling up with water. We can just do that. So this we could just do this if we wanted to, but we're going to automate it a little bit more. We are going to have this pull out and this pull out. So this is going to pull out no matter what. We're going to put a servo in here and basically teach it that no matter what, you're going to pull stuff out of there. That's where the stuff's going to go, and it's going to end up in the chest. Now this one here is going to be a little bit different. This one, we are going to in the server and we are going to blacklist full camel packs so if there let me take that off uh, if there is a camel pack that is full which we are going to have to make right about now if there is a full camel pack in the chest it's not going to pull it out so we'll come in here we'll go flipping heck <laughs> jeez oh my gosh okay here we go i'm not going to mess this up this time it's going to go there not on my hot bar all right we're going to blacklist full camel packs there we go i'm going to say it to ignore it. so now if i put that in there it doesn't pull it out However, if I was to put in one that's even slightly used, it's going to pull it out, send it into the cyclic assembler to be filled up, and then back in the chest. It went through quite fast there. So the way that we're going to do this is we are going to make ourselves a second camel pack like this. Fairly easy to make. Done. And all we got to do now is every time we want to fill up our camel pack, just come over here, do that. And then when we come back a little bit later, this as soon as this one's run out, we can just come back, take the one that's in this chest, and uh, and swap it with this one. And everyone is happy because the world is a better place when we constantly have water, and it is beautiful. So with that out of the way, we can uh, we can take another thing off our list of things to do, and we can move on to the final section of the quest book, uh, or the final section before we can get back to the moon, which is completing these quests here, the leftovers and the uh, the one with the meat bucket, which I'm still not sure uh, what we have to do. Uh, for that one. So we need a sewer, a sludge boiler, a biofuel generator, and a slaughterhouse. Uh, you would not believe how many people have been uh, shouting at me in the comment section about getting a biofuel reactor because we have so much stuff in terms of um, 
sludge from the uh, from the other machines that we we could get quite a lot of stuff from the from the bio from the sludge boiler it's uh, it's unreal so there we go is that done it is it's a crafting recipe good stuff let's finally get this sludge boiler that everyone's been asking for this guy here can actually make like it produces like little things like dirt clay sand uh, all that kind of stuff just randomly when you feed it sludge and you, you might as well do because sludge is kind of useless um it, you can't do anything else with sludge apart from throwing it into a sludge boiler so uh, it, i should have probably made one of these a bit earlier on but hey we'll get ourselves a little bit more plastic like that and i think that is about as good to go can we do that what are we missing we are missing i'm pretty sure i just made a bucket or at least i thought i did am i seeing things maybe okay let's try this again boom nice okay so we got ourselves a sludge boiler cool so we'll throw you in there and we'll go straight on to the next one the slaughterhouse which i do not believe is too hard to make fingers crossed Ah, oh, it requires so much invar. Do we have that much invar? We got 13. Let's see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They've, oh, we're one off. One off. Do we have any ferrous? No, we don't. Ah, oh, that is uh, that is the biggest pain ever. Do we have any nickel? We do not. Oh, really? Really? Okay. We are going to have to switch up our game a little bit, I think, here. Uh, firstly, because this has been a pain. What is this barrel for? I don't think this battles for anything, is it? I think we just put it down by accident. It's blocking some of our stuff up. I'm taking this away. Here we go. All right, let's get rid of you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. There we go. Okay, we are going to have to switch this up because this is not really working. We need to be either sifting. We need to be either going through sand or going through gravel because in order to get ourselves some nickel, which uh, turns into ferrous, for those who didn't know, we need to either sift through... Um, there is pulverized nickel ore. That's all you got from... Okay. So the only way you can get pulverized nickel ore is either through pulverizing nickel or sand or by breaking nickel or sand with a hammer. You can't actually get it from, from sifting like you can with the sand and the gravel versions. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get rid of this pulverizer here and then probably just throw down an item duct for now so that this starts sifting through the sand instead of the, the, the dust. So make that an output that's going to start sifting through dust it's going to be a bit of a pain at first because it's going to mean that we're going to have a mix of stuff in here which is a bit annoying do we have any aluminium silver lead ah oh, it would have been too easy if we'd have had nickel wouldn't it too easy gold platinum iron lead silver ah too easy it would have been too easy i don't think there's any other way of making it is there we need uh, we need ferrous and iron so we may have to uh, cut away here and come back in a second once we, oh, we can, we can, we can pulverize a, a leadstone furnace. Um, uh, Invar blend. Yeah. Do we have a hardened energy cell? <laughs> we only need like one more piece. So if we did, I might be uh, quite tempted. No, we don't. Okay. Uh, actually, can we, uh, can we use these for that? We can get Invar nuggets if we pull for, <laughs> oh, you know, I cannot believe it, but I'm going to do it. Here we go. Let's just throw this guy down here. I'm going to pull for ice three of these guys up and, and that should get us nine invite nuggets, which should be enough to get us this slaughterhouse. I'm just going to hope that we uh, don't require any more invite this episode, which I think is, it's probably a mistake. I think we probably do require more, but hey, let's go. You, 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 and you are almost ready. Take you, craft you like so. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. So I'll make another one of those. And then, boom. What are we missing? Do we not have a machine frame? Ah, oh, you know, things were just going too good. Things were just going too good because now we need a machine frame, which requires four more, which means we need a lot more hardened energy conduits. And we don't have that many hardened energy conduits. So I think with that, we have two options left. We can either quickly look and see if there is another way to make Invan Nuggets. There is not. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to cut away now, guys, and come back in a second once we have some more uh, ferrous and therefore some more invar from our sand dusting over here. And I might probably just help this along a little bit uh, with its stuff. We got two. We're almost there. We're almost there. How many do we need? Uh, four. We need four flipping things. Okay. I'm going to go do that, guys, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a little while later, and I've managed to pull together 50 more invar, so I'll throw you in there. And bada bing, bada boom, we should maybe possibly almost have enough stuff to do something, possibly. Ah, uh, here we go. I'll make a few more of these. We should have a bunch of this uh, plastic, so we'll throw that in there, and we will go ahead and do this. Make at least two more of those, because we need two more machines to complete the quest. And boom, 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 
Nice. So we've got that done. And now we only have one more left. And that is the biofuel generator, which again, hopefully is not too hard. Let's have a look. Biofuel generator uh, doesn't look actually too bad. We're going to need two pistons. Those blaze rods might be a bit of a pain because that means we're going to have to get ourselves some more angry dolls. But that shouldn't be too bad. Let's go like this. Boom, boom. And then we'll throw together a furnace and a redstone transmission coil. And we should be good to go. Okay, so we're just missing the machine frame, which we we won't have because we didn't quite make it. Throw you in there, and then we just need two blaze rods, which I believe require us to make two angry dolls and throw them in lava. So, angry dolls, do we have what it takes? Almost. We just need uh, enough normal dolls, which require some porcelain, which we do have. We're just missing either diamonds or emeralds. Uh, emeralds, no. Diamonds, no. Of course not. That would be far, far too easy. Really? We've got no diamonds and emeralds? Really? Really, really? No, no. <laughs> really? Please? Please, no, really? Wow. Okay, well, as it turns out, we have no diamonds and emeralds, which is just perfect so i guess what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take off the next one in the line and we're gonna throw down another item duct and we're gonna see if this works because uh, we're also gonna need some more food and some more water fairly soon uh, because in order to get diamonds or emeralds we need to sift through gravel so we're gonna have to start sifting through some gravel so item ducts uh, we're going to have to take some normal ones. We're out of impulse ones. Get rid of you. And let's see if this one works. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go away again. I'm going to hook this up like this. Uh, we can get rid of you. Make that an output. That should start outputting gravel. Pick up all the sand and the dust that's left in there. Throw the gravel back. And I'll be back, I guess, in a second. Let's get rid of all you. And a bunch of sifting later. And we have ourselves a one diamond and a one emerald. Okay, so we should... Now, I think, be good to go and not have to cut away ever again. So, let's get ourselves one of you. Boom. And we need a little bit more porcelain clay, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. Perfect. Boom. 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 Good stuff. And boom. Nice. So, we got ourselves two angry dolls. If we head on over to our lava barrel over here, uh, I was going to go and uh, fill, up it, fill it up with lava between the, the takes, but we actually had already 7,000 millibuckets of lava in here. Uh, not quite sure where we got all that from, but I'm not going to complain. I always uh, like to have extra lava. So, we need a bucket, and then we should be good. So, we're going to have to make another one because our current bucket is uh, occupied with Resident Ender, which I might actually use. I'm thinking about making uh, at least one Aqueous Accumulator before we wrap up the series because that thing is incredibly hard to make. But uh, it'd be super awesome if we could make one. So, we'll throw you in there. We'll get ourselves our Angry Doll out. And let's see if we're prepared for this. We don't have a sword, so we're definitely not prepared for this. And we have no armor and no nothing. We should really get some decent armor. That's... I don't know. I mean, I keep putting armor on, but we can't put a, ch a chest plate on because of my camel pack. And any armor really just sort of um, flipping heats you up. So it's kind of kind of a little bit pointless having one. And I have absolutely no idea where my rapier has gone. Uh, no, no. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we have any sort of sword? We've got, <laughs> we've got a stone sword. Will that do? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> where the heck is it gone? Um... Actually, no, we'll use one of these swords. Here we go. We'll use, like, a, an enchanted gold sword with uh, sharpness, uh, unbreaking sharpness, knockback. Uh, we're going to take a few because I feel these things are going to run out fairly quickly. We'll take up. There we go. That's the one I'm on about. Look at that. The ancient sword. There we go. This is going to kill for us. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Angry doll, you are getting thrown into a pit of lava. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Blaze is going to spawn. I'll be back in a second because it's going to take, like, a minute to spawn. Here he is. Here he is. Okay, okay. Go away. Oh, wow, we got, like, knocked back a billion. Uh, all right, whilst I actually... Oh, gosh, whilst I burn to death... Uh, oh, gosh, this is not good at all. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I am going to die. And and that is not good. We have a blaze just sort of running running amok around around our place. That's 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 not good. Okay, uh, let's see if we can fight this guy. Come on, come on, bring it down. Bring it down. I don't want to go up there. Fine, I'll come up there and fight you. Okay, we're going to die. We're going to die, and we're going to die badly. Um, whoo Jeez. I like how it tells me the top left-hand corner there. You are dying. Okay, this is uh, this is not good. This is really not good. Hopefully, we can uh, heal up a little bit with our burger. Jeez, this this sword is not as uh, not as flipping strong as my other one. Um, okay, we need to be able to make it to that chest over there and get our new camel pack without. Oh my god, the forest is on fire. Okay. 
Don't shoot me. Don't shoot. Okay, okay. We're alive. Here we go. Fill up the cow pack. Get back to full strength. Now we gotta make our way up to the top of that building. We gotta do that by using the come on, my heat stroke's gotta go. And that second blaze is gonna be spawning any second now. We got a skeleton. What the heck? Where are all the mobs coming from? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Blaze one down. Because you're the douche, you didn't drop any blaze rods. Flipping heck. Oh, did he? Did he just like knock them to the next century? No, I don't think he dropped any. Okay, we're gonna be getting second blaze any second now. This is fine. We oh no, we're not. We didn't put it in, did we? Okay, we'll get second blaze someday. Let's put let's put this on. This looks cool. Look at that. Boom, blaze head. That is how you shall now refer to me. Uh, I'm not gonna use the pulverizer. That'd be silly. Here we go. Okay, take two. Flipping neck. And boom, biofuel generator done. Nice. And with that, we have completed almost the technological revolution. We can claim one of these rewards, uh, either Essence Berry, Soul Sand, or Safari Net single use. I'm going to take the Essence Berries because we have Soul Sand, and I've got no idea if there's going to be anything in those Safari Nets. So I'm going to take the Essence Berry. Uh, this, uh, this one says completed, but it just needs tweaking a little bit. And, and then the other one we have left are MFR liquids. We need 10,000 meat, 10,000 pink slime, 10,000 sludge, and 10,000 sewer. Which, to be honest, we could probably grab that 10,000 sludge right about now if we get our quest delivery system going and some fluiducts. And maybe a lever or a server. Server. Take you. We could probably do this pretty much now because I'm pretty sure we've got 250,000 stippling thousand in here uh, and then i'm pretty sure we've got two hundred fifty thousand in the other one as well so we'll do that we'll select this quest we will go like this make you an output with our crescent hammer or not you know whatever boom didn't do it didn't do it there we go there we go it's fine we got a button we got a ton of sludge um, is that working? Okay, apparently you can't pull out of the top there. Can we pull out the other oh, side even? Can we pull out the top? Does that work? Is that okay with, with everybody? Maybe? Possibly? <laughs> this is not working well, is it? I think that should have worked. No. <laughs> okay. Well, what I'm going to do, guys, is between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and figure out how to make all this stuff. I'm pretty sure we can use the slaughterhouse to make meat and pink slime, sludge water to make sludge, and sewage to make the uh, not the sewer, the sewers to make the sewage, which uh, should be easy with our massive amount of cows. And then I think next episode we will uh, hand in this quest and then get started on some galactic craft stuff because we finally need to start and uh, and return to the moon because we've pretty much done everything we can do. We'll probably do some creating life as well, get all of this stuff, and then. Then we can wrap it up and call it a day. So thanks for watching everyone. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like and tell me in the comment section what you thought. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.